The Spirit of God has been messing with me. And so he sent me down here to mess with you. I'm going to say from the onset, like the Apostle Paul, I count not myself to have apprehended. But this one thing I do, I'm pressing toward the mark for the prize of the high call of God in Christ Jesus. What I'm about to share to you today, I have not arrived at, but I am on my way. And I believe he sent me here because there is a higher and deeper call to this church. You are not just a ministry. You are a movement. And today you're going to start the unveiling of a kind of believer. That this earth has never seen before. The church is about to step into their true identity. And we ain't seen nothing yet. I'm in the middle of just starting a book. And a pastor will tell you whenever you, you write a book it's like birthing something. Now I do not. I do not submit the fact that it's like birthing a child. Uh, trust me, it ain't that kind of pain. <laughs> but, but it is like you're carrying something and then you're carrying it, you're carrying it, you're carrying it. And at the moment of time, God wants you to release it. And the Bible declares in this verse what it is that God is shifting the church into. And he raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. I want to talk to you for the next few minutes from a theme or title called the Ascension Dimension. Say that after me, the Ascension Dimension. Say it again, the, the Ascension Dimension. What is the ascension dimension? It is the dimension that you and I live in right here, right now, that most of us are not aware of. And the reason we are not aware of, of it, it's because we have stopped just short of God's finished work in Jesus. All my life, I was taught that the gospel is the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus. And I would like to submit to you that is absolutely true. That the gospel is living, he loved me. Dying, he saved me. Buried, he carried my sins far away. Rising, he justified. Freed me forever. One day he's coming. Oh, glorious day. That is the gospel. Absolutely 100%. However, that is not all of it. Because there is one dimension that has been left out. And it is this dimension that God is trying to shift the church into. That Jesus' work was not finished at the resurrection. His work was finished when he ascended to the right hand of the Father and sat down. It is the sitting down of Jesus at the right hand of the Father that was the consummation of salvation, which means his work wasn't finished until he sat down. And when he sat down, it was the sign that the redemptive work of God was complete. So the Bible declares that Paul goes through great, great anguish of heart and great fervency of prayer and intercession for the Ephesian church to finally get to a revelation of the finished work of Jesus. 
You know now Ephesus was a hard place. It was a place shut down and shut off for the gospel. It was one of the hardest places to break through. It is what Paul declared in 1 Corinthians 16 when he said, a wide door is open unto me, but yet there are many adversaries. He was talking about Ephesus. He was saying that I sense an opportunity here to finally take out principalities and powers and open up Ephesus to a revelation of who they are in Christ. And it was hard to crack, but sooner or later, the door opened and Paul went in with revelation and broke open the door of the gospel to Ephesus, which became the most influential church in the first century. Why did the devil want to keep Paul out of Ephesus? Because it is in Ephesus where he drops the revelation of all revelations that shifted the church from the resurrection to the ascension. Ephesus is a book that shows us in totality who we really are in Christ Jesus. And he starts out in this book, it, which is the same reason I am here today. He says, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, after I heard that you came into the knowledge of the gospel, Paul says, I'm praying basically one prayer over your life that you don't stop there. I have one assignment today. It is to make sure that you don't stop at just being saved. Salvation. I'm trying to calm down until I set this up, but it's just the preaching anointing up in here. Salvation is not the consummation of your experience in God. But rather, salvation is the initiation into a dimension and walk with God that starts you into understanding who, what, and where, and how God has created you to function. Look at somebody and say, we ain't stopping, we ain't stopping. Which means we're not just satisfied to be saved because Jesus did not die just to get me to heaven. Thank God we're going. But the Bible declares in this book that he also died to sit me in heavenly places. 